Have you ever been seduced by someone who wasn't who they said they were? Inspired by true events. I sold the company. Apparently it's worth 10 million to someone. Sorry, what, 10 million? Yeah, so dinner's on me. It's like he looks right into my soul. I just don't want you to get hurt, Louisa. Be a little cautious, okay? My wallet's gone. Obviously, I'm gonna pay you back. Mr. Johnson's finance information was false. I'm calling the cops. These kind of guys have down to an art. They reel you in using your trust and then offer theirs and then... He coerces women into sleeping with him and then he robs them. A Lifetime original movie. It's not your fault. Yeah, but you didn't fall in love with someone who doesn't even exist. Ripped from the headlines. Make a noise, honey. You don't want him to do this to anyone else, do you? There you are. I'm coming for you. Swindler Seduction. Premiere Saturday, October 22nd at 8. Only on Lifetime. What about this young girl named Louisa? She hasn't been in a relationship for a while. She hasn't, she doesn't really believe in love. She never thought that she would find it. And then she meets this, um, this handsome guy that sweeps her off her feet and she thinks she's found it. Um, but he's actually, I don't want to reveal too much because if I say what he is, oh, yeah. what happens in the movie, but he's not what he, he, he's not what she expected. She's in for like a huge surprise and, um, um, yeah, that's all I can say. I feel like I don't know too much. Um, yeah. No problem. Well, Louisa turns into what I call a hood detective in this film to get all the dirt on Steve. These days, <laughs> is that something you think people should do regardless when they're getting to know people? That's a good question. I mean, it depends on how, yeah, it depends on how you're meeting them. I think like, cause a lot of people that I've started dating, I've known like, through circles and stuff, but I feel like if you're meeting someone online or, you know, through a dating app, then it's probably best. I think you should do some research. <laughs> figure out. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted them to be See what's up, see what one. Um, <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's wild. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This world's too crazy. Exactly. Yeah. Pass anything. Bye. Did you <laughs> face any challenges with this role that you haven't had to deal with before when you had to film? Challenges? I mean, I think it might be the. It was probably probably felt the most because it's like because it's a a thriller, like a scary movie. There was a yeah. lot of. It's probably the most emotionally taxing thing I've had to do. Okay. Um, and so by the end of it, I was really exhausted, but sometimes it makes things easier. Cause I'm like, I feel the most vulnerable because I'm so tired, mm. but like, certain scenes where, oh no, there was one scene <laughs> where I could not remember the lines. We have, we were filming until maybe I think four in the morning and I was really tired and it's like, that was probably the hardest scene because I couldn't, <laughs> I, it was a scene where like, there was no cutting. It was just one long scene. Oh just, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle. But, that, uh, makes, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. And then I have to mention the cast because there is such a great cast. I love the film, by the way. I don't know if I had a chance to get that out. <laughs> oh, awesome, thank you. <laughs> but talk a bit about working with the cast and what you enjoy most. Oh, it was amazing. I think the cast was amazing. Colton is so, um, I feel like he's, he says that he often gets like the the badass characters, but he's so sweet in person. He's such a sweetheart in person. He's such a brave, like I he, I know he wrote a book and like mm. just such a brave like artist. It was it was lovely getting to know him and, and, and work with him. And yeah, I know everyone on set was really, really cool and sweet. And that just like, that helps make the movie yeah. the process of it a lot more fun and enjoyable. and. You know, yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I like the vibe you guys have, you know, it seems the chemistry is really well, like even when the yeah. movie starts and you guys, you know, getting your little groove on, you know. Yeah, exactly. With everybody, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What lessons do you want people to get from the film after they watch it? A lesson to get from the film? Yeah. I mean, I think just, Pay attention to the red flags. Like if something in your gut is telling you like, this is weird. <laughs> I think you should like, just look into it a little bit more. 
do your research beforehand and then if something in your gut is like if your intuition if you feel that you know your spirit turning a little bit because of like a something strange that that person did i think really like you have to step back and be like Right. Um, yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the one. That's the advice people need to take. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell all of our viewers why they should tune into the Swinner Seduction on October 22nd on Lifetime. Um, tune in because you're going to be in for a ride. You're going to be surprised. You're going to cry. You're going to laugh. Um, it's a it's a it's a ride, and I think I think people are going to love it. So just watch. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait for them to see. But I'm gonna watch it again on live TV. So I'm gonna be tweeting. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then switching gears real quick, can you talk a little bit about growing up Canadian and how, if all, how if at all, do you think it prepared you for a career in Hollywood? Um, it's interesting growing up Canadian because it is just like, you know, me trying to break into like the American. Um, there's a little bit like of an insecurity there being a Canadian and trying to be authentically um, American. Um, but it's so funny because the director was like, I'm actually surprised <laughs> by your acting. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. He's like, yeah, because he's like, most can he's like, just because you're Canadian. I think there's a bit of a stigma around Canadians yeah. and they're not being talent there, which is here in Canada. Well, I'm not in Canada right now, but in Canada. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't think that's not true at all. People are just not looking in the right, right place, just making like, you know, safe choices in who they're choosing to hire on set. But yeah, um, so it's been a journey, but it's been a, it's been a, like a slow, I think being on twenties, which is the last show that I did helped, you know, mm -hmm. step into like the American side. Um, and it's difficult cause I feel like there's so much more competition. Um, but yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then you brought up 20s, and that's one of my favorite shows. So I have to ask real quick Is there a season three? Anything you can give us on that? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I hope there's a season three. There's talk of something, possibly, but I don't know if it'll be on BET. Oh. But I don't know if I was supposed to say that. But <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> yeah, but let's. Yeah, I want to see more Hattie. I want to see yes. more Joseph Gibbs. <laughs> We're going to put that in the um, universe. And yeah. then speaking of 20s also, and then of course this new movie with Lifetime as the leading role. You've been on your grind. I mean, the last five years, you've had some very interesting and good roles. I'm interested in knowing what's your ideal role. Good question. I mean, I always think of like um, actresses that I love. Um, do you know who so Sophie Okanito is? Yeah, I do. She's an older actress, but like I eventually want to be able to do the stuff that she's doing. Also, Viola Davis is like so much. Yeah. Oh yeah, Viola. Um, like it's called Woman King. Woman King, right? I haven't seen it yet, but I would love to be. It's a great film. It is. It's really oh worth my God. it. It's just, I would love to do a movie like that. Um, yeah, I would love to like lead. In some in some capacity, just be like a fierce ass boss ass leader in some capacity. But I also oh, like yeah. really like I love um what are they called like um uh, like the thrillers that are like they like have to do with the mind. What are they called? The specific name for it? Psychological thrillers. Yeah, I had to make it too. <laughs> yeah, I would love to do something like that um, and play an insane person. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can so see you in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your range is really thick. I really like your uh, range because you play some different type of roles and it's different characters. It's not like the same actress and just different lines. So that's what I like yes. about what I've seen you do. And that's what yeah. I love. I constantly want to be be challenged. So I really want to, the dream is to do everything. But, you know, sometimes right. when you make it, you're like, you're typecasted or you have like a casting that people, you know, see. Mm -hmm. They send you these specific roles, but yeah. yeah. What's next for you? Um, I I don't know. Right now, I'm in Italy. I'm in Italy. Okay. Um, get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking um, an acting intensive here, um, and I've been here for two weeks. The last day is tomorrow. So when I'm not working, I just I just train in between and get ready for the next role. So um, yeah. 
Yeah. You stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. I feel exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> then before we wrap up, is there anything else you want to leave with um, your fans and our viewers? Um, just make sure to watch. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful movie. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and yeah, sending lots of love. <laughs> yeah, real good. Well, thank you again for taking time on speaking with me from Urban Bridges. Again, my name is Aries. I apologize for all the technical difficulties in the all beginning. Good. <laughs> all good. But definitely continue success. Again, I love watching you on screen and I'm looking forward to what you do next. Thank you so much. No problem. You have a good day. Thank you, you too.